Yo, 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 hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to this critique. Thank you for joining me here on the channel. I trust that everything is going well in your life and that you know who you are connected to, the Almighty, and you're aware that he's the one that is keeping you alive and well. All right? It's a pleasure having you here. All right? Now, I want you to think about um, what I'm going to say next. All right? So, don't move. Here's my question. How many of us enjoy eating a nicely prepared fish meal? How many of us enjoy eating a nicely prepared fish meal? Maybe everyone, right? Maybe every one of us do. And we usually take our time and enjoy the meal, especially when we touch and taste the fish itself. Right? When we touch and taste that fish off our plate, we are like in fifth heaven or something, not quite seventh heaven. But you know that eating fish can be quite a delicate experience. Why? Because it has bones in it. Right? I believe we can all agree with that. Now think about this. There is a moment between swallowing a piece of fish and realizing that you have swallowed fish bone. Have you ever been there? Can you recall a moment like that? You have just been full of joy because you just got the taste of the properly seasoned fish on your palate. But the next microsecond, you realize that as you started to swallow, you realize that you have swallowed a bone. So the fish bone is halfway down your throat and already in a position to cause you severe pain and harm. In that brief moment, you realize that you should have checked what you were swallowing. Hmm? You remember how many times your parents or guardians had warned you about the possibility of fish bones getting stuck in your throat. And the many times they had cautioned you about the importance of making sure that all fish bones are removed from the fish you are putting into your mouth. In that moment, you also remember the stories that you have heard about people suffering for long periods with fishbone stuck or turned crossways in their throat. And suddenly, you are sorely afraid. Have you been there? You are afraid because it has happened to you and you realize that your fingers cannot reach down your throat to retrieve or remove the fishbone. What a place to be. What a place to be. What a moment to experience and live through. And it doesn't get better for you because the bone is stuck there. And cannot be vomited out. You cannot remove it with your fingers. Right? You cannot remove it with your fingers. But then suddenly you remember hearing somewhere. About eating a piece of bread. And that the bread will adhere to the fish bone. And take it along. Down into the stomach where strong gases will dissolve it. And you sigh a sigh of relief because you think you have found a solution to your predicament. But flashback, before that memory of the bread comes into your mind, imagine the feelings 
that occupied that space. I am saying it must be the same for sinners like you and me. When we, when we someday realize that we have eaten and have been eating from the devil's table and then suddenly realize that we have been caught, captured, hooked by his worldly lures and then shown what our imminent end will be. We will try our best to reverse the years, to lose the bad habits, to separate ourselves from the perverse lifestyles, to lose some friends, friend or friends that we had made over time, to forget the addresses and locations we had become accustomed to visiting privately in order to enjoy what we had deemed to be our freedom. Are you with me? The horror of such a moment of revelation is unspeakable, but must be born individually, just as in the case of the individual who would have swallowed that fish bone. Fortunately for us, like the bread that we remember to aid us in removing the fish bone stuck in our throats, the word of God is available to point us back to the path that leads to the greater life, which is life beyond the grave or life eternal. The word of God will guide us back to the path of safety and eradicate, eradicate sin from our lives eventually. What I am saying here at this critique is that I admonish us to always be alert in this life and to watch out for the allures of Satan. Just as we have been cautioned to watch out for the fish bone when we are eating fish. Watch out for the allures of Satan. And in case you didn't know, Satan positions his allures and baits just as carefully as the Creator positioned each bone in the body of fish. And if we are not mindful of the way we walk in this world, we will trip over any of his carefully planted snares and become stuck helplessly in that precarious position of habit, of lifestyle, of relationship, of whatever it is that we become stuck on and have to face that moment in which the horror of the moment can feel like a lifetime. Remember the fish bone? Before you remember the bread? It can become like that unless we remember Jesus and call upon his name for mercy and saving grace. At this critique I'm saying, let us therefore eat carefully endeavoring to remove all bones from our fish when we dine. Let us tread carefully through this world, always on the lookout for the snares and the traps of Satan. Because if you think back, what do we do when the fish bone is so cleverly hidden inside nice chunks of fish? Relate that to the devil and his snares. When he has his snares and his traps so intricately hidden, what do you do? I give you an answer. The Bible says we should search the scripture. Yes, so we need to take the time to carefully search for bones in the fish. Using all the capabilities available to us before swallowing. And in the case of real life situations, let us study well the ins and outs of every reality that we get faced with before committing ourselves to them. Whether they be that new friend, that acquaintance, that fellow employee, food, habits, 
place of entertainment, lifestyle, whatever it is, so as to avoid getting stuck in a place of horror unspeakable. Mind you, God is always there, but we may not be able to see him or communicate with him if we allow ourselves to be hooked and trapped for too long and too deeply by Satan. Remember, salvation is available to all, my friends. All we are required to do is walk along the path laid out by God. And that's the path that leads to peace. Okay? So God bless you as you all start endeavoring to walk that path in Jesus' holy name. I will see you soon right here at these critique. I am Emmanuel Shield, and in closing, I invite you to like the video if you found it valuable. Share the video with as many of your friends as possible. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go right ahead and click that subscribe button. All the best until my next post. Peace.